Islam? Yeah. Islam, uh, from my childhood, I, I have had a lot of friends who were from Islam. But after I came to Oman, actually, uh, the thought process started. You know? I started reading about Islam and the culture, especially here, made me think a lot about it. And uh, the people who are still around here. And uh, all those information which uh, really made me think about what it is and wanted me to go ahead and thought about it. And then about three years before I guess, uh, I found the importance of prayer basically. The first thing which attracted me from Islam is the prayer. So I see a few people in my circle itself have changed when they started praying. And being an outsider, I, I also am a Christian, I also pray from my childhood, but I did not feel the the power of the prayer when I was in Christianity, you know, because there were a lot of distractions going on. But in Islam, I see it's a short one, but it's a powerful one. So I wanted to learn about it. I inquired with my friends, uh, you know, what you do in the prayer, and what you say. Yeah. So I wanted to know different people are saying the different things in the prayer. In Christianity is like that. Everybody is saying different things in the prayer. So, but in Islam, what I found, the same thing is spoken by everybody, which means the same language is speaking to the same person. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so the uniqueness of the prayer. So I also really want to learn about it. It started writing and first I learned to say the Fatiha little bit. And then uh, again, uh, I have read more about Islam and uh, I tried to connect in the dots between uh, Christianity and Islam. Mm -hmm. And I found many answers which was uh, missing in Christianity found in Islam, mm -hmm. which was supposed to be given to even Christians as well. I think the whole world should know this because it is a truth, I believe. Mm -hmm. So when I got to know about it, I felt very happy and I really wanted to go ahead with it. And uh, later one day, and I am also a person who does a little bit of meditation and everything in the morning, and one day I was meditating and then I had these strong thoughts came into my mind that I must uh, get Islam, get into Islam or learn Islam. And immediately I take my phone and start searching where I can, you know, get the information. So I get uh, the mosque, grand mosque, contact and information and I call and they asked me they could take it down to the mosque, probably we can have a conversation. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be a long process for me to go and learn and then get into Islam. But it was so simple. And the, the way they explained, I think the person is already here. And I was very happy the conversation with him because very short ways he explained me what is Islam, how I can be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And I thought I will come, let the information go back and then probably come back later and then become a Muslim. But mm -hmm. When I walk out of the place, I became a Muslim, you know. And then it was small uh, inspiration for me, uh, gave me a lot of strength and courage. And since then, I'm practicing Islam. And I think the best thing in my life so far happened is to become a Muslim. So after after the death of Islam, did you encounter any like difficulties or you know challenges? Once I felt everything easy after that. Oh, I felt okay. everything. The, the road is open for me. Even with your family, with your friends. With the, to be honest, with the family, I will discuss that I become Muslim because mm -hmm. I believe it is my personal choice. Yes. And I stick on to it. Mm -hmm. And my circle, of course, knows it. And more than me going around and speaking, I am a Muslim. I'm trying to be a Muslim by myself, you know, mm -hmm. by uh, by my lifestyle or probably my thoughts mm -hmm. uh, and the way I am living. And probably my family and my friends who know me before, they might ask me, what happened to this person? He's changed. And I could probably tell that I'm a Muslim now. You know? mm -hmm. And I think better than me going and telling them that I become a Muslim, mm -hmm. but if my, my lifestyle shows them that, you know, yeah, a better man. I'm a better man because of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how, how, how do you see your feelings after becoming a Muslim? Feelings, of course, I feel very happy and pleasant, mm -hmm. especially when I pray. Sometimes I miss to pray, but sometimes, most of the time, I try to pray, mm -hmm. at least two to three times a day. But whenever I pray, I feel really calm and very peaceful, and mm -hmm. I, I feel like my obstacles are just moving away. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, even I feel very proud to speak to my companions or colleagues that uh, I believe in Islam, and, you know, and I'm a Muslim now. 
So since you are convinced that you revert and by your help, yeah. you start telling the others, your friends, you start telling your friends about Islam, you know, uh, introducing Islam to them? Well, uh, to be honest, most of my friends are Muslims actually. But they were just born Muslims and they were probably not practicing Islam yeah. because they, they think that probably they know everything. Mm -hmm. and, uh, after me got into Islam and started praying and now the change what I see in my Muslim friends. Mm, they yes. come back to Islam. Better Muslim, yeah. <laughs> they become a better Muslim. They start to pray. They, they are thinking like, you know, wow, we missed out something. Mm -hmm. And probably it could be one reason that we are back again, you know, which is making me even uh, feel proud, you know. Yes. And um, yes, Alhamdulillah, I'm happy. Alhamdulillah. And we are proud, you know, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, thank you. Is it clear?